All right, so we're gonna talk about lasers today. And how they interact with your horses, how, how we use them, why we use them, and more specifically also what makes this machine special and why we use this machine specifically. So thinking about a laser, I would classify it as a therapy. So you, you have your riding that helps build muscle. Then you have recovery modalities like poultice, ice, massage, hoof packing that are therapies, but are lower kind of level. And then, you know, one level above that would be, you know, ultrasound, FES, laser, et cetera, which are done under the supervision of a vet or by a vet or vet tech. And then one level above that would be your vet treatments that your vets, you know, your vets do. And we use laser in the barn a lot. It is a very effective therapy device that helps, helps the horses recover and not just recover, but build. All right. So let's go for some very basic knowledge first. A laser is a wavelength. The voice you hear, radio frequencies, uh, your cell frequencies are different wavelengths that transmit energy. And so the laser is just certain wavelengths that have certain properties. What you really need to know is there are two different types of lasers we use in the barn. And they're class 3 or 3B and class 4. This is a class 4. The 3B we use is like an oversized pen. The main and only difference really is its overall power output. How powerful is that wavelength of light? Same wavelength or wavelengths, plural, but how much power is behind it? Think about, you know, uh, your light in your ceiling can have one color temperature, but very, not a lot of it. Or it can have the same color temperature and crazy amounts of light. It's the same thing. The temperature is the same, but... The volume of light is different. And so the more power the laser has, the less time you have to treat, you have to treat a certain area. And we'll look at what that looks like a little bit later. Um, also, the less power it has, the less risk of anything going wrong. When you use a laser, and the, what we do in the barn, it should always be under direct veterinary supervision and veterinary prescription. That's the way we do it. That's the way we've always done it. That's the way you should do it as well. So next about a laser, what you have to understand is penetration. Horses have some very deep structures. You know, if you want to hit the SI or certain other deep structures in the back, you got to go down eight inches, more or less. Lasers don't go down that far. They only go down about two inches. So they're for superficial structure therapy. A lot of that is totally fine when you're working in the legs, but a lot of structures in the back and the neck are too deep. It can still be effective if there's certain surface muscle muscles or structures that are close enough to the surface, but if they're not, the laser is not going to do anything. It doesn't matter how long you run it, the penetration doesn't go down farther the longer you use it. So that's another thing to keep in mind is penetration. How deep does it go? The next thing is, what do we use it for? Again, we use it for superficial structures to help relax tight muscles, help relax inflammation, uh, tendon sheaths, uh, tendon and ligament insertions into the bone or muscle, um, certain joints, to help how the cartilage reacts to the work you're putting in with the horse. It is not a silver bullet. It is not going to fix all your problem. It will help and it is, it'll help in percentages, but it won't take you from a hundred percent bad to 0% bad. It will, it is a therapy. So it only will reduce some inflammation, not eliminate it. But used properly and used in conjunction 
with your work in the barn and the work that your vets do in conjunction with your work, it can be very effective. But again, understood within the limits of where it's functional. So like I said, we use two different lasers. We have the smaller pen laser, that's a class 3B, and we have a class 4 laser. In our case, the class 4 laser we use is made by American Cryo. This is their brand new class 4 laser. We've tried and looked at a whole bunch of different companies that produce lasers. For us, the durability and functionality of this particular product is why we've chosen American Cryo's class 4 laser to other companies. And we're going to go through the different features that for me is why we've chosen this one. Now, class 4 lasers are a veterinary device. They're sold to vets. So we got this from American Cryo. Thank you guys. But it is always used on our direction of our vets and by licensed equine physiotherapists. A lot of our grooms are licensed, which we help them with. And because this device is amazing, but that doesn't mean that it can't go wrong. And that's why you need to work with your vet and do everything under supervision with your vet. It's the way we do it, and I wouldn't do it any other way. So let's talk about some of the features that make this one better than the rest. So whenever you work with lasers, as you know as a kid with your little laser pointers, lasers can damage your eyes. So you always wear your glasses when working with the laser. These glasses are specially made to block the wavelengths of light that this laser produces so you don't damage your eyes. Safety first. So you can hear the laser is on. You can hear the fan to keep it running cold. What I love about this laser is first, its size, it's portable. It comes in a durable case because barns are dirty and tough places. When lasers were first garnering more widespread use, the hardest thing was this cable because the original lasers, the light was created in the box itself. And so you had a fiber optic cable that went through here that was very easy to damage. That is not the case anymore, so it's a lot more durable. But this cable here, it's hard to see in this image, is very long, which is a good thing because that allows this machine to be far away from the horse when you're using it with this probe. And this is the probe that emits the laser light. This is the wide field. This is the mid. And this is a much more focal head. They screw on to this, and that allows you to determine what you're treating. Then, what I love about this laser is it does the majority of the work for you. You have, you can see you have various areas on the horse. If you want to treat, say, uh, let's do a foot treatment. You click the foot, confirm, and this gives you your general settings for that structure that have been worked on by vets and researchers. They are able to be adjusted, but again, we don't do that. We stick to what this machine recommends and our vet recommends the same features. So then you literally start it by, now we're here, you stand by, and then you press the button. And you can see the red light here. I'm pointing it obviously away from uh, the screen, it's beeping to let you know that it's on, and you move this around the area that you're treating. Click the button, back off. Okay, so got the glasses on, and today I'm just going to show you what it looks like to do to laser a fetlock. I've taken the large eye off because that's for muscles and larger areas, and I've put the smaller focal lens on. Then I've selected fetlock in the box. And then as you go, it counts the number of kilojoules. And so it's a certain dose for a certain area you could think of. So a certain amount of energy for a certain amount of area. And that depends on the structure. That's why you have the different settings for the different structures on the horse. So when I'm going to start the therapy, first I have my glasses on. I've selected everything I want to select. Go from standby to ready. And then the power is in my hand. And I push this red button to start the therapy and you'll see the red light come on. This is the laser light. In this case, it is a combination of two wavelengths and I am moving constantly 
because if you hold in one place, it will overheat the structure. And that's not what you want to do. You can even feel it yourself. If you laser yourself and you don't move, you'll feel it heat up. And that's not what you want. You want the energy to go in to the structure, but not overheat it. And so all I will do is I will paint this structure back and forth for the time that is listed on the machine. Now, in this case, this treatment was prescribed by my vet for this horse for a particular reason. This is not done just for shits and giggles. And I will keep doing this until I run out of time, until the timer is done and the timer relates to the amount of energy input measured in kilojoules. So the amount of energy and light in kilojoules. And I'll just go back and forth until we're done. And this is what a treatment looks like. Okay, so you shouldn't set your machine on a ladder like this. The reason I did is just to show you how compact this machine is compared to some of its earlier siblings and some of its current siblings that are on the market. This machine is small, compact, effective, durable, and thank you to American Cryo for sending me this machine. We use it on our horses when our vets prescribe it. It really works for the issues that it works for. It is not a magic bullet, but it definitely for a lot of soft tissue issues can really yield positive effects.